So lace up your favorite sneakers and come on out to Tim Hortons Field on Sunday, October 2nd with the family and friends. And once you've caught your breath, stick around for the official tailgate party. For Ticats TV, I'm Kayla Williams. Tiger Town, it's hard to believe we're just five days away from our first preseason matchup versus the Toronto Argos. With the focus of training camp now switching from practice to game-like scenarios, we spoke with our wide receivers and how they look to take the offensive charge this season. The transition from NFL to CFL can be an interesting one for some athletes. Not all players have the ability to adjust to the northern style of play here in Canada. But for international linebacker Larry Dean, he's been making that transition quite smoothly in his new role and team here in the Hammer. Hey, Ticat fans, I am here with none other than Mr. Delvin Bro, former Ticat, now New Orleans Saint. Delvin, what's it like to be back? Canada Day, it's the Ticat season home opener, and you're here in Hamilton. What's it like to be back in Steeltown? You know, there ain't no feeling like this, you know, um, even if I'm back home. You know, this this is an awesome place, man. When I got off the plane today, I was like, man, I can't wait to hear Steeltown tonight. I can't wait to hear Tiger Town, and uh, it's awesome, man. I'm enjoying it, and uh, I don't want to leave. Well, we don't want you to leave either. We wish you could just suit up right now. But, uh, you know, you obviously have an incredible story, and Hamilton plays an important part in that role. And So what does the city of Hamilton and the Tie Cats franchise mean to you? Hey guys, it's Kayla here for Tie Cats TV. I'm with Jay Lenga and Adrian Tracy. We're here at Tim Hortons Field. Camp day is coming up June 1st, so we're about to have a little fun. Coffee yeah. style, football field, you put those together, about to have some fun. It's a big cup classic. Some may say that Terrence Tolliver has always had the eye of the Tiger during his football career. A strong collegiate run as an LSU Tiger in Louisiana, and after a few years of bouncing around the NFL, Tolliver seems to have found a home as a Tiger Cat here in Hamilton. But as competition is now heating up, we take a look at the 2016 draft class and how these rookies are vying for final spots on the roster and how they can impress their new coaches. Training camp has officially started for your Hamilton Ticats, but they're not the only ones excited for camp. It's camp day here at Tim Hortons and locations all across the country. My buddy TC and I, were about to go inside and lend a helping hand. company for 10 years and of course you know camp day keeps getting bigger and bigger last year we were able to send 18,000 underprivileged children to our seven camps across Canada and the US so that's very exciting we have a great day today so we're gonna get you behind the counter there and you can make some coffee we'll give you a camp day shirt and uh, and uh, we'll make you a, a coffee expert in no time sorry, flat. Yeah, sorry. One, three, two, sugar. So, okay. So, uh, okay, so, hit it. Okay, so do the sugar first. Okay. Uh, so you go under in here, uh -huh. and then medium is right there. Perfect. Okay. Namaste, Ticat fans. Today is June 21st, also known as International Yoga Day. And as you can see right behind me, hundreds of members of the Hamilton Ticat community have come out to partner with Lululemon and us here at Tim Hortons Field for an amazing yoga session. Let's go check it out. Paul Corver shot 8 for 10 behind the arc on Wednesday night versus the Sacramento Kings, tying a personal best of eight three-pointers in a single game. Now tonight, he looks to extend his three-point streak to 96 versus the Utah Jazz. One of the key factors to the Atlanta Hawks' success in the past four games has been the play of Al Horford. Al's currently averaging 16 points, eight assists, and two blocks. He's one of the few NBA players right now to be putting up those numbers. There's a bit of irony behind tonight's starting lineup for the Hawks versus the Utah Jazz as three of their five starters are former Jazz players. Damari Carroll, Paul Millsap, and Kyle Korver all used to play in Salt Lake. Now it'll be a little interesting to see if there's a little more fire under their bellies tonight versus their former teammates. Now I was able to talk with the two former Jazz players, now Atlanta Hawks, on their take on tonight's matchup. This is Community Update, your weekly look at city news and events. The City of Mississauga is creating a master plan for Dundas Connects. Public engagement and community consultations will begin in April. For more information about the project and how you can get involved, visit dundasconnects.ca. The City of Brampton recognizes April as Sikh Heritage Month. On Tuesday, April 26th from 5 to 8 p.m., 
Honor outstanding members of Brampton Sikh community by visiting City Hall for an evening of speakers, awards, and a chance to mingle and network. For more information, visit Brampton.ca. Thanks, Natalie. Well, organizers have been forced to cancel Sunday's dedication of the Martin Luther King Memorial in Washington, D.C. The East Coast is preparing for what could be the most damaging storm in years. Habitat for Humanity continues to expand their home ownership program with new homes all across the Twin Cities. El Dorado is coming together to honor Martin Luther King Jr. The city had to postpone its 21st annual MLK parade in January due to weather. So today, folks are finally paying homage to the civil rights legend. Monroe police say they tried to serve a mentally ill man with an order to take his psychiatric medication and it turned into a high-speed chase.